Hi guys, happy Friday. We did another week of home learning. Well done, I'm so impressed with you all. I loved seeing all your things uploaded onto Class Dojo this week. It's been fantastic. Well done, everybody. Um, today's activities, I would like you to carry on with your white rose maths. Today's lesson is called thousands as decimals, sorry, thousandths as decimals. So thinking about how we can convert thousandths into decimals, thinking about how many decimal places we would use. Think about our place value washing line that we have in class. Make sure you're asking a grown up for help if you're not sure. Um, and rewatch the video if you need to. Your grown up can drop me an email if they need help helping you at home. That's absolutely fine. Um, but you've all done really well this week. Keep it up. Uh, you need to at least the first page um, and have a go at the second page as well. Push yourself. Um, Friday's writing today. And this will be happening every Friday. I would like you to write a newspaper um, about the week. So summarizing the week's events. So things that might have happened at home to you. So you might have done some cooking, you might have done something funny with your brothers or sisters, but also things that have happened in the news as well. Make sure you're keeping um, checking news around and seeing what's going on in the world. Obviously the whole world is wrapped up in Crovo at the minute. Um, but it's important that you're keeping up to date on the real information and not getting caught up in fake news. You know, we don't like the fake news. So make sure you're checking news around so you know what's going on. Maybe you can write maybe three stories in your newspaper report about what has happened this week. You might choose two that are real news and one that's something to do with your family or two things to do with your family and one thing from the, the actual news. It's up to you. Um, I've put some links on the resources um, to help you on what you would include in your newspaper. And we've written newspapers before at school. Remember your tone needs to be really formal, you need to have lots of information in there, you could use some quotes, it needs to be past tense, um, you could use some illustrations, some photos, get some captions with there, you need a title, headlines for each story. So if you're writing three stories in your newspaper, you need to have three different headlines for those three um, events happening in your newspaper. Um, and I look forward to seeing those. I like to see what you guys have been up to with your family. Um, you can write this in your book. I have included, I think in your pack, some newspaper templates, but you don't have to use that. They're quite small. So if you're writing maybe two or three stories, you might find that tricky. And moving forwards next week for next Friday, you might have something happen to you on Monday that you really want to write your newspaper report about. So you could start working on that over the week so you don't have as much to do on the Friday. Um, your spellings today, uh, we're going to have another look at the year five, six common exception words. Choose 10 of them and I want you to practice your handwriting. They obviously need to be spelled correctly. So if I see they're not spelled correctly, I'm going to reject it and you need to redo it. Um, you need to be doing correct spelling and beautiful join up handwriting, please. I want you to do a line of each word. Depending on how long the word is, you should be able to fit maybe six words per line. Make sure you write the date at the top as well. Um, for your topic today, um, I've put some maps in your home learning pack. I've got a world map and there's a UK map as well. Choose whichever one is most appropriate for your family. I want you to think about where the people in your family come from and where they either come from or where they live currently. Um, if you come from a specific country, you might want to print out another map of that specific country if you've got family dotted around um, another country that's quite a small country on your map. Um, it's up to you. I want you to think where they come from and I want you to uh, plot it on your world map. Maybe you could put some information about who lives there and where they live or if it's where they come from and they live somewhere else now. That would be nice to see. And then I would like you to have a go, if it's relevant, if you've got lots of um, family in a few different countries, you could have a go at turning that information into a bar chart. So if you've got I don't know, 10 members of the family that live in Northern Ireland, you've got two that live in Sweden, and you've got one that lives in Australia, and 14 that live in the UK. Um, you could plot that on a really nice bar chart for me. Um, I look forward to seeing those. I love hearing about where your family are from. It's what's amazing about our school, that we're such a diverse um, group of children and people. Um, I really look forward to seeing those. Hope you all have a lovely Friday. Um, I'm gonna do another video today um, let you know who's really impressed me with their schoolwork this week. My certificates I'll give out today. Um, and I look forward to chatting to you on the Padlet. I hope you can all make our quiz today as well. It's Shooker's quiz. Um, I'll see you on Zoom at two. <laughs>